And now we want to take a closer look at two names that feature prominently in the whistleblower's complaint. They are Attorney General Bill Barr and, in particular, Mr. Trump's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. Paula Reed looks at how America's mayor has become the president's fixer. The whistleblower singles out Rudy Giuliani as a central figure in the scandal. The president's personal lawyer is mentioned 30 times in the complaint, which cites meetings he had with at least seven Ukrainian officials. In early August, just eight days after President Trump's call with his Ukrainian counterpart, Giuliani flew to Madrid to meet with one of the Ukrainian leader's advisors. According to the complaint, they discussed cases the two leaders had raised. Giuliani has admitted to pressuring Ukraine to open an investigation into former Vice President Joe Biden and his son Hunter. So you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden? Of course I did. The whistleblower alleges, starting in mid-May, U.S. officials were deeply concerned by Giuliani's circumvention of national security decision-making and efforts to relay messages between the White House and Ukraine. President Trump defended his personal attorney Wednesday. Rudy Giuliani is a great lawyer. He was a great mayor. He's highly respected. Responding to the whistleblower's allegations, Giuliani said, it is impossible that the whistleblower is a hero and I'm not, and I will be the hero. Scott Fredrickson is a former independent counsel. We've never in the history of our country that I'm aware of ever seen a personal attorney engage in this kind of foreign diplomacy, especially with respect to these very specific requests. The complaint also singles out Attorney General William Barr. President Trump told the Ukrainian president Barr would reach out to discuss investigating the Bidens, but the Justice Department said the president never asked Barr to contact Ukraine. Paula joins us tonight. This key question, the attorney general, what role did Barr play? It's interesting, Nora. The whistleblower didn't include a lot of details about Barr in the complaint. But we know Barr played a key role in preventing these allegations from getting to Congress. So this once again raises new questions about whether the attorney general is acting as the president's defender or the nation's top law enforcement official. And Paula, what is the legal vulnerability for people around the president in this alleged cover-up? Well, Nora, if Congress pursues impeachment, the Justice Department is going to be under a lot of pressure to pursue a parallel criminal investigation. And even if this Justice Department does not believe you can charge a sitting president, they could potentially charge accomplices. So if this turns out to be bribery, which is one of the things that's being looked at right now, Giuliani could have some exposure. Incredible reporting, Paula. Thank you so much. We've got continuing coverage on our streaming network, CBSN, and at cbsnews.com, which includes a link to the whistleblower's complaint so you can read it yourself.